Hi, my name is Robert Thompson, and I'm the Senior Manager at our Lending Solutions Contact Center. I would like to share my story today about what it means to be a black man growing up, and I'm hoping that you will also share your story with the fight to anti-black racism. As a black man growing up, I've learned to cope with many things. Uh, I've learned to cope with injustices, prejudice. As a prime example, uh, as, I, as I continued with my career, I was once told that I should cut my hair. I chose not to because um, I believe that I should be judged upon my character um, and I'm glad, I'm glad I made that decision as I am where I am today. What, make it, what made it really hard to cope with was when my eight-year-old daughter approached me and asked me, Daddy, who is George Floyd? At that moment, I felt really, really bad because I could see that my eight-year-old daughter was losing a little bit of her childhood innocence. You see, for the first time, she was actually realizing the color of her skin. Uh, more importantly, she was realizing that some people may not treat her the same because of it. She even went as far as asking, Daddy, shouldn't the police have been protecting George? And I said, of course. And then she turned to my wife to ask, doesn't he have a family? I feel so bad for them. How would they feel? And I think what made me even more sadder in that moment was I could actually see in her eyes that she was envisioning me in that moment because I'm a man, a man of color, she's a person of color, and she started connecting the dots with everything that's happening and all the protests. So I do ask that you all share your stories, that we all stand up, that we all fight for change, and it's our responsibility. Coming forward today to talk to all of you, all my coworkers, I felt that this was my responsibility to speak up, and I do look towards you, and I do ask that you do the same. It is time for change. Hi, my name is Amaya Thompson and it is time for change.